Hi, this is King of Review. Here we have to express the relationship of the second and third terms, A2 and A3, of a geometric sequence, where the first term is A and the common ratio is R. Well, let's think about what a geometric sequence looks like. Geometric means we're going to be multiplying. And in particular, we'll be multiplying by the common ratio, R. For each term, we're going to multiply by R to get the next term. So our sequence looks like this. We start with A, the first term, and then we multiply by R. And maybe we multiply by R again, and again, and again. We can do this as many times as we'd like. In particular, if we want term number N, the nth term, we're going to multiply by R N minus 1 times. The first term is A, so all the rest of the n terms come from multiplying by r that many times. So that means that our second term, a2, one of the terms we want in our relationship, is going to be a times r. Since n, the term number, is 2, we want to multiply by r 2 minus 1, or just one time. The third term, a3, will be a times r times another r. This time we have the third term, so we have to multiply by r two times. But now we can very easily write this expression in terms of term two, in terms of a times r. We have a times r times r, but I know that a times r is a two, term a two, the second term in the sequence, which means I can write a three as the product of a two and R. And that's the relationship expressed in answer choice C. So C shows us the relationship between A3 and A2, two terms that are right next to each other in the sequence, meaning all we have to do is multiply the first term by R to get the next one. And that's it. Thanks for watching.